Hi and welcome back to Let's Learn to Sew. In today's video I'm going to show you a real practical use for the rolled hem on a serger. So this project is a real quick simple project and it is a great way to repurpose old towels. So what I'm going to show you how to do is take old towels that are worn out or maybe you just no longer want and turn them into cleaning towels with a nice clean finished edge. This is the stack that I've already completed. I've got one more towel to go so I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys how I did it. So I get a lot of questions um, in regards to the roll hem as far as what it's useful for. So I thought I would show you guys a real quick project that makes good use of the rolled hem. So I've got an old towel. It's got holes, edges are frayed, and this is actually one of the uh, nicer ones uh, that I'm repurposing. Okay, so the first step, for me at least, for repurposing towels into cleaning rags is I like to cut off any decorative edge it may have. And you can probably still find a use for this. Do it on both ends. Okay. Now, you could measure out your towels if you wanted to. What I did earlier was I just matched edge to edge. And a rotary cutter would make this even faster. But I know not everybody has one, so I'm just going to use my scissors. So you can see I've got that hole kind of lines up well there. These are Ginger dressmaker shears. Depending on your scissors, you may not be able to cut through uh, several layers like this. If not, just cut through what you can. And again, like I said, you could use a rotary cutter. I'm just trying to keep this simple because I know not everybody has one. You can measure this, like I said, mark it and measure it if you wanted to. These are going to be for cleaning, so I'm not real concerned with them being exactly the same size. Cut your cloths cut to the size you want. It's time to go ahead and get your serger set up. For this project, I'm going to use my Baby Lock Imagine. So setting up your serger for a rolled hem does depend on your machine. First thing I'm going to do is set it to D. That is the rolled hem setting. I'm going to turn it to the rolled hem. And I'm going to go at about a 2. And that's going to be how close together those stitches are. They don't have to be super close. Uh, since this is some terry cloth and then I have my machine threaded with three spools of thread and one needle. So first thing I want to do is get my thread tail so I'm going to stitch a few stitches. Now at this point my thread tail is shows the rolled hem I'm going to go ahead and this is thick. Normally you could put your fabric here and those feed dogs are going to kind of pull it in. Since the terry cloth is thick, I'm going to lift it up, slide it in. This is going to show you your seam allowance based on how many needles you have in. I don't really need a seam allowance for these towels. It doesn't have to be anything precise, but a serger always works better when you allow that blade to cut off just a little bit of fabric. So I'm going to have it just at the edge. Now when I get to the edge, I'm going to keep stitching and allow a thread tail to form. I'm going to bring that thread tail under. Okay. 
and I'm gonna do this until all four sides of the towel have been surged. Okay. Now, this is one of the finished edges of the towel. Since it's in good shape, I'm not gonna worry about surging it. And now I'm on that final side. I'm gonna go ahead and leave a nice long thread tail. And then cut that thread tail. Now I know some people may wonder why you would finish off the edge of cleaning towels, but it's going to keep fraying. Terry cloth will keep pulling apart and it's going to make a mess in the washer and dryer every time you wash and dry. So I just want to avoid that. Now you can finish off your thread tails however you like to finish off your thread tails. Um, I usually just use some seam sealant, put a couple of drops, allow it to dry, and clip those threads. You could also take it and run it under inside that rolled hem, but with this thick nap of the terry cloth that's going to be a bit hold, harder to do so what i'm going to use is some fray check i'm going to put just a couple of drops on each of these thread tails and i'm going to allow that to dry Once that fray check has dried, you can go ahead and just go around and clip all of your edges. There you go. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? Now there is a practical way to use the rolled hem on your serger to repurpose old towels into new towels to be used in the kitchen or just around the house for cleaning and other things. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick and simple serger video. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments section. And as always, be sure to visit letslearntosew.com for more sewing inspiration.